What's up, Yes Gamers? Robert the Bruce here. Maybe you're here because you never learned how to fly helicopters very well in Battlefield 3, and now you'd like to be able to rain down terror from above in Battlefield 4. Or maybe you're brand new to the Battlefield series, and you'd love to be able to take off in a heli, fly for a few minutes, instead of immediately crashing every time. Either way, this video is for you. Welcome to Little Bird Flight School. Now don't panic if you're wanting to learn the other helicopters. I'm going to have videos up for those soon as well. First off, we're going to look at my preferred controller setup. This is not the correct way to do this necessarily. It's just the way I like to fly. Coming from Battlefield 3, it felt the most natural to me. The heli buttons I've got set on Veteran. The heli sticks I'm leaving on the default. And we're going to take a look at what those exactly mean on the PS3. And then uh, we'll actually look at it in action. Get a little zoomed in here. The throttle down is L1, the throttle up is R1, and the fire button is L2. Those are really the only ones we're going to worry about right now. If you're learning helicopters, you don't need to be worried about trying to spot people or reload. You just want to get the basics down. Now, the sticks is really where you're going to be needing to practice and really learn. The, the fire and, and throttle buttons are easy. The left stick controls the yaw. The right stick controls the pitch and the roll. What do those fancy words mean? Well, let's talk about it. Let's actually take a look at a helicopter in action. First, we're going to look at the throttle. We're going to throw a little live cam up in the corner. That sounds dirty. R1 goes up, L1 goes down. That's the easiest way to say it, easiest way to remember it. Pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. If those are the only two buttons you're hitting, you're not really affecting anything else with the helicopter, that's it. If you let off of both of them, you'll kind of hover, but you'll start to drop altitude a little bit, but it's pretty easy. Pitch, roll, and yaw. This is where it gets uh, a little more complicated if you've never done this before. Yaw controls the rear rotor and turns the helicopter. This is done with the left stick. Again, this is on PS3, PS4. I assume Xbox has similar setups. You don't really lose altitude. You don't really change the orientation much of the helicopter other than spinning it around left and right. Yaw is very safe. The right stick controls the roll. That's where you're actually going to flip the helicopter left and right. This gets a little more dangerous. This is where people have trouble starting out. You lose altitude quickly, easy to crash. Use the roll with caution when you're very first starting out. Now, gaining speed going forward and backward is done with pitch. This is tilting the helicopter forward and backward done with the right stick, as you can see there. This is how you gain speed going forward, going backward, actually moving the helicopter. Now you will lose some altitude if you really pitch it forward, trying to gain a lot of speed. Think of it kind of like a dive bomb in that sense. You can go forward without really losing much altitude like you saw there, but it's just done with very barely pitching the helicopter forward. The more forward you go, the faster you'll gain speed, but you're, you're gonna be diving down towards the ground. This is typically done more of as an evasive maneuver, um, or if you're really just wanting to gain a lot of speed and get across the map quickly, something like that. And that's basically it. If you think that was easy, those are the only controls. Well, experience is the best teacher. Get in the game, try it out, practice. Just remember those things that I taught you here. The yaw is easy. However your controller setup is, keyboard, different system, different controller layout, whatever. The yaw rotating that back rotor is safe. When you get into pitch and roll, you start to get into more dangerous areas it's a lot easier to crash so take it one step at a time jump in an empty server practice mode whatever don't do crazy maneuvers starting out you'll crash a lot and get frustrated take it nice and easy you'll get better and better in no time thanks so much for watching i'm going to have more tutorials up on the other helicopters as well as some advanced tutorials on helicopter tactics and more interesting flight maneuvers that sort of thing so if you haven't subscribed now's a great time to do so so you don't miss out on future flight schools and that wraps it up for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.